Welcome back, everyone. I just uh, wanted to make a quick video today. It's probably going to be like 20 minutes, maybe, at the most, uh, to demonstrate the number one problem that I currently have with uh, Hearthstone Heroes of Warcraft. Now, this problem is basically detrimental to the entire experience of the game. And that is the gold. The gold that you use to buy packs or enter the arena. One second. Right there. 150 for that, 100 for a pack. Which 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 is fine, that's fine. I don't I don't mind the cost of anything. What I do mind is the amount of gold that you earn. Now let's, let's just take a look at the quest log. You get currently, they could add more, one quest per day. And that quest is pretty much always 40 gold. At least that's the only one I've ever received. Which you get for three wins. Which is fine. That's a, that's a good quest. But the problem is, which I will demonstrate to you by playing a game, you get one gold per win. Maximum. And nothing for a loss. Which means that besides quests, you have to play 100 games, which with a 50% win-loss ratio, which is how the game should be if the matchmaking system is decent, 200 games, 200 games, to just get one pack, which, according to somebody on the forums who I forgot their name, that is over 30 hours of playing the game for one pack. Now, I'll demonstrate this to you. Hopefully I win my first game. If not, then this will be longer than planned, but I need to demonstrate to you. It's not just one gold per win, it's five gold per five wins, so you don't get anything until you play the fifth game. Which Gul'dan is just ridiculous. Oh, another Warlock deck. Your soul shall be mine. Okay. Your soul That's fine. Shall okay. I have an okay hand. I need to start uh, focusing more on late game than early game. The past couple games I've played, I've been like, oh, I got a bunch of 1 and 2 cost creatures in my hand, this is gonna be great, and then I'm out of cards, like, after 3 turns, and then I have nothing. I'll just... I'll just go ahead and play that. Can't heal anything, but... It's better than nothing. This isn't gonna be an entirely boring video of me just ranting. I'm gonna have gameplay in it. Maybe open a pack afterwards and just just to keep you watching, you know. But, this is mostly a complaint video. I don't remember putting that in... Did I, did I select the basic Warlock deck? I think I selected the basic Warlock deck. Oh well. Doesn't matter. Uh, I'm going to play the coin, and then a Wolf Rider, so that I can deal 5 damage to him this turn. And turn. Now hopefully he isn't playing the same kind of deck that Total Biscuit plays, with just nothing but Molten Giants in there. Another thing that I noticed during his video, if you haven't seen it, you should watch it, it's pretty good. It's a WTF is Hearthstone. Um, but anyways, he plays a lot of Molten Giants, you can play that, and takes damage. Probably should have just killed that. Oh well, I'll just buy those. But anyways, I, I noticed a combo in his deck that he, I don't think he realized because he didn't use it. But if you play a heavy late game deck with a Warlock, what you can do is you can get it to a point where you have a zero cost Molten Giant because it reduces its cost by one. That is a powerful creature for every, uh, damage that your hero has taken. And if you have 20 damage, it costs zero. So what you could do is you could play two of them in one turn, and then use Power Overwhelming on each of them, because that costs one, that gives a 4-4 four, four to each of them, but then destroys them at the end of the game, and then play a Void Terror, which sacrifices both of them and gives the Void Terror their combined health and attack. So it would gain 24 health and attack. Pretty overpowered. Now, I, I can't do a board clear. That's not good. I'm gonna. I'm. I have to kill that. That's just a fact. I'm just, I'm just gonna do it. Fuck it. 
job done. <sighs> That's only a three. Fuck, that was the one I was supposed to do. Damn it. Oh well. Hopefully, hopefully, this goes better than that. That's kind of re re rushed in here. But, uh, yeah. You know what? I'm probably just going to cut to a point where I, uh... I want to know how I have a viewer, because I had a viewer the second that I pressed the, like, button that makes the video happen. Gul'dan versus Gul'dan! <sighs> Another warlock? Your soul shall be mine! Wow. Your soul shall suffer! Huh. Get rid of that voodoo doctor. That's, that's fine. I greet. And Anixia! Nice. Enter. Now if I can just get to turn 9, then that'll be... That'll be an amazing feat. Definitely not the best of this game, especially considering I haven't really got any Warlock cards in my packs. I'm gonna kill that. And end my turn. And the next turn, I can start playing good cards. Hey, corruption, yay! Don't know why he burned that on a one cost creature, but whatever. It's fine by me. Handle it! And turn, and it's dead. I want to know how you get that war leader, because I'm pretty sure that's a quest reward. Because you can't craft it. There's, there's one... Th this guy is a, just a pure mor Morlock deck, what the fuck? That's, that's nice. I don't have any board clear in this deck, so I think I might just get destroyed. Summon another Void Walker. Hmm. Damn, he he's just buffing my side of the field. Sucks. Thanks for the five and a four. <laughs> Seven, thirteen, seventeen. Yeah, that, that's enough to kill me. I have to, I have to get rid of him. Wow. Wow. That's fine. 
Why doesn't he have the plus two health? That's confusing. Oh well. Minion already attacked. Ooh. I guess I'll attack directly then. Suck steel why? Enter. My hmm. You are in trouble now. Hmm. I don't want to play Illidan? No, no, I'll play the one with Taunt. <laughs> now, let me see. Time for killing! Hmm. I think I might lose this one again. Wow. Good. Summoning portal open. Hmm. And that's dead. And that's dead. Almost. That's that's fine. I think I can almost clear his board. Play that, then play that, then I get a free other minion. Now I Yeah. Hmm. I have to kill that. I'm just, I'm just gonna kill, kill both. Time for killing. And end turn. Hopefully he doesn't do ten damage to me this turn somehow. Give me a quest. I win! Good. Good, I can show you. I can show you what happens. Now look, right there. Now, that appears to give you five gold per win, but no, no. You have to get five wins, and then your reward is five gold. And that is the only reward you ever get for winning. One gold per win. Now that is ridiculous. Since this video isn't as long as I thought it was going to be, with the loss, I think I might just put the entire thing in here. Since both games are fairly quick. Um, as you can see, I completed one thing for the win there. I think I will buy two packs, just so this video is a little more exciting. And that will be it. Let me see. Purchase complete. Okay. And open packs. So yeah, they definitely need to increase the amount of gold that you can gain in this game. I'm not saying that they should just give you everything that you could ever want in this game without having to work at it. Because... They wouldn't make any money, and the game the game just wouldn't be as good. The game just wouldn't be as good. 
you should want to buy packs with real money, but you shouldn't be forced to to get anywhere in the game. Now, what's that soul priest? Your cards and powers to restore health now. Ooh, that'd be good for a priest. You can only use it with a priest, but it'd still be really good for a priest. Deal. That 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 turns their. I think that turns their hero power to damage. Nice. Restore four health to all minions. <laughs> that does dam. That does four damage to all minions after that. With and it's free. That makes that a free board wipe. That is ridiculous. A wild pyromancer. After you cast a spell, deal one damage to all minions. Nice. Hmm. Spiteful Smith. Young Priestess again. Oh wait. That's a different priest card. Oh well. Forked Lightning. I, I have a, I have trouble getting any warlock cards whatsoever. Anyways, that is the end of this semi-short video. It's not technically short, but as far as my videos are concerned, it's short. And yeah, just made this video to be informative of the fact that that is a heavy problem with the game right now. It is the difference between the game being free to play, which is fine, and the game being pay to win. Because, as it stands right now, it is pay-to-win, because basically the only physical way you can get packs, besides the early starter quests, because the early starter quests give you free packs, but you can only do those once. The only way to get packs, essentially, unless you play 10 hours a day, is to buy them with real money. Which is just not how I think, in my, in my opinion the game should be, because it makes it not fun. No one's gonna play if the only way you can progress is to spend money, and that's not a fun game. They should make it so that spending money is appealing, but not the only way the game functions. Okay? Okay. If you enjoy this video, please like it, share it, subscribe, whatever. Help spread the word that this current model that the game has is not okay. There's already several threads on all the forums about it. Just wanted to make this video because I haven't seen one of it yet. Actually made a thread myself last night at about 8 p.m. my time. I think it was actually the first thread on the topic, at least on the actual forums. At least I didn't see any up at the time. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. Anyways, thank you for watching. I hope this video was very informative, or at least entertaining, and see you next time. Goodbye.